Well, breaking news on the west side. A 14-year-old boy dead after a shooting in North Lawndale. Chicago police say he was hit by multiple bullets just before 2 this afternoon. He was walking on a sidewalk on the 1100 block of South Karlov when he was hit. Boy later died at Mount Sinai Hospital. Detectives are investigating and no suspects are in custody tonight. We'll bring you the latest as soon as we have it. And tonight, the wife of Mexican drug kingpin Pen Joaquin El Chapo Guzman pleaded guilty to charges in the U.S., alleging she helped her husband run his criminal empire. WGN's Jenna Barnes is here now with more on this evolving case. Well, her lawyers say she was surprised she was even arrested. Now the DEA agent here in Chicago who hunted El Chapo for years is telling us he isn't surprised she's pleading guilty. The wife of drug kingpin El Chapo admits she helped her husband run his multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise that smuggled drugs into the United States. Emma Coronel Aispuro pleaded guilty in federal court in Washington today to charges of conspiring to distribute heroin, cocaine, marijuana and meth. She pleaded guilty to a money laundering conspiracy charge and to engaging in transactions with a foreign narcotics trafficker. There's no doubt in my mind the way I look at this is she knew this was coming. Jack Riley is the former special agent in charge of the DEA's Chicago office. He hunted Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, Mexico's most powerful drug lord, for decades. El Chapo was serving life in prison for his role leading the Sinaloa cartel. There's no way she could have been as close to him without understanding the way they move stuff across the border, uh, both uh, north and south. I also think she's extremely important in understanding the role that people like uh, Mayo Zambada and other critical leaders played. Riley says the 31-year-old also helped orchestrate her husband's prison break. While I was still there, uh, we knew that she was involved in parts of his escape plan uh, out of the prison the last time. Um, Several times when she visited Washington, I actually had a team of agents that I assigned to follow her around. Um, and quite frankly, one time she went to uh, the Organization of American States to complain about the way he, he was being treated in the Mexican prison. That took about a half hour, and then the next two days, the agents followed her around where I think she spent about $100,000 shopping. While she may be a valuable source of information for investigators, Riley says her plea deal is likely the result of delicate negotiations. Her attorney says she did not agree to cooperate with federal investigators. She knew the writing on the wall, and now let's see what happens because um, there could be other investigations underway in which she's going to get caught up in. Investigations, Riley says, must continue. I am hopeful that this wasn't something they wrapped up to try to move on to other things because uh, Sinaloa now, along with a couple other cartels, are probably as strong as they ever were and certainly uh, are as dangerous to the United States and its uh, security, I think, as any threat we face worldwide. El Chapo's wife faces a decade in prison. She's set to be sentenced in September, guys. All right, Jenna, thanks very much. Well, tonight we have new...